so we are Where back and it's time to see if I can take on the Murloc boss in fact take on all the bosses I'm on a mission That's a that's a bad miss. Very specific the angle that you have to attack from. Energizing fish. Replenishes magic. Yeah. Ooh. Is that the last one? The Murloc mutant. Or is he a tank? It's just a tank. Right. Come at me. Come on through. Look at that plus 92 strength from killing all these Merlocks. Ah, damn. Mm. He's still too strong at the moment, but obviously I'm fighting all the other mobs, so probably retire. Oh my gosh, he almost caught me there. Almost trapped me. The slow poison is really kicking my ass. I don't need the mana potion, I need the health potion. I've got this ability as well, actually. So we cleaned up a lot of that. Let's keep having a look. I can heal up a little bit whilst I'm fighting the lesser mobs. Because we can't go back to the boss just yet. He's too strong. As you can see, I am slowly healing it all up again. Can I summon the mercs? Oh yes, that's right. I forgot about those. <laughs> Thank you for the reminder. I will take a look. I'll bring them on board soon. I'm almost at the help I need to be, I would say. Blimey. Miss, miss, miss. Bring them in. Brilliant. Quite a few of them. This better be hmm? it. If I give me something to do. Brilliant. I'm coming through. Now I just gotta fight the power of path. Wait till you see me in action. Kick down stuff. Wait till you see me in action. Do you I require Hold him away? Brilliant. I'm coming through. Hold him away. Brilliant. I'm coming through. I'm coming through. Going real fecking hard. Mm. Real hard on that. Mm. Just smacking everything. There we go. This organ produces... Uh, passively restores 2% of max health to the hero and all friendly. The item loses its property after 15 minutes since its appearance. Oh gosh. <laughs> That should be an aura that I get benefit from, right? You have a target? This hero and nearby friendly units. I'll take care of it. I'm coming through. That's the time it has left. Give me something to do. I'm your sister. I'm your sister. Yeah, I think that's working. Brilliant. I'm coming through. Give me something to do. Maybe test the stone form removing the thing. It does. It does. We've tested it before, but if you want to see it one more time, plus 78 
plus 51. I'm coming through. All right. Give me something to do. I don't know if all of this strength is just purely from my items left. It basically does. It's just one of those ultimates that has that kind of effect. Anyway, I should... I was going to say TP out, but it probably wouldn't take me too long just to get in the boat. I don't know. Let's try the TP. We've got a cooldown on it. Where are you? Oh, that's where I wanted to go anyway. I can't remember exactly why I wanted to come here, but I did want to come here. What was it I wanted to come here for? Ah. Uh, Maybe it's the Blood Elves. So I can just buy all the orbs. Because at the moment I'm not doing anything with this gold. And I'm sure there is an item I could kind of get. But I figure that if, you, if the all, all the orbs stack, then that would be really good anyway. This increases your units. I might just get all the orbs. Help me. Help you. Just put this over here. Give me something to do. I need 5,000 to pay the goblin. Yeah. I might get 5,000 over time anyway. Still got bosses to kill. We're basically doing boss run here. Alright, let's find out whether this works or not. Okay, so we got that orb. We're going to get the vampirism orb. Wait till you see me in action. Got that now. Obviously, get it. Orb of Corruption. That's OP as hell. Orb of Darkness is probably the weakest one. I don't care too much about an extra unit. Orb of Frost is always OP. Poison's OP as well, especially in this because it kind of slows them down. Orb of Stone. That procs with my hammers, but I don't have hammers. So it doesn't matter that much. And surrounding troops. Yeah. The other orbs ain't that, ain't all that. So I'll hold on to the rest of my gold. Now we got these orbs apparently. So hero's going to be pretty damn stacked. So let's check. We had the turtle boss. We've got a boss over here. That's the dragon, isn't it? Yeah, that looks like the dragon. I'm coming through. There's a boss over here. That was the gargoyle right. one. So off I go. I need a mount. But this is kind of as fast as your hero gets, at least. Still got a bunch of items I could sell as well that I'm not really using. Oh, hello. Now, is this where I wanted to be? Not quite. Close. Wait till you see me in action. Brilliant. Hold him away. Turns out he's gone the whole wrong way. Move it. We'll go this way. Do you require aid, King? Hmm? This better be good. About time. Once again, it's up to the elves. What a good idea. About time. If you Give me something to do. I'm coming Help through. Me. All right. Oh, you gotta get across the river. Ah, oh, my God. It's so hard. You gotta go all the way back to the Blood Elf base. Right. It's very mm, specific. Or you go all the way up here and then round back from that. Either way, it's a complete cluster bugger to get to. <sighs> Need better transport. Okay, so that's where that is. 
Let's just right click here for now and see if that takes me there. He's gonna go all the way up there, around here. Oh my god. It's too much. I'm coming through. Hold him away. Do you require aid? Hard work, isn't it? That's the biggest trouble on this map, is getting anywhere. You have to take an exact route. Hold him away. I'm coming through. Exact. Brilliant. I wanted to deal with these actually, didn't I? But I buggered off after doing the Murloc. Get so I'll have to go back there. and deal with those. Move it. Move it. Please go the right way. Hello. He's getting there. Hi. Hold him away. Brilliant. I'm coming through. Brilliant. I'm coming through. Hold him away. Move it. Move it. You can hear all of those orbs kicking in now. Even if the rifleman can reach Wait from there. You see me in I? This Wait till you see me in action. Move it. Help me. Help you. I don't think there's anything else over here. Did the gargoyle actually drop sight? He did, yes. That looks like Illidan's model almost. There's like a T pose Illidan model. It looks like a shield. Once again, you have a target. Once again, it's up to the elves. Do you require aid, human? Boost health regeneration by two. It's nothing special. Right. It is whatever it is. I get a bit of experience for doing this though, so it's definitely worth it. Now, uh, where's the next one? So we go to Z and E. There's one over here. Oh, I'm sure I killed that. Maybe there's the banshees. So off we go. Up and then back down. Alright, thank you, Ultra. How do you know I'm British? Oh, you think you can go down here, don't you? But it just goes just a little bit further. If you insist. Move it! Brilliant! I'm coming through! Move it! This is a mountain king that definitely pumps now. He's getting quite confident to do most things by himself, but with a couple of mercenaries, he's, he's definitely very strong as well. Oh yeah, you can't go that way, can you? You have to come around here. It's always further than you think. Ah, I thought I could reach that. Sorcerer is almost dead. Who do I think is the best hero? Hmm. In what context? Just in general? Demon hunters up there. There's the sorceress. What do we want to go for? Looks like they're quite nasty. So we're going to have to sort of 
whittle their numbers down. They actually banished my tank somehow. I'm like impressed because that doesn't seem like it would be an easy thing to do. So my tank can't actually do much of anything right at the moment. Can't do much damage to them either. So it's just more of those bloody wrath businesses being awkward and clunky to fight against. Hey, Ultra. Thank you very much there for the sub. Oh, my weed. Jeez, he's going nuts. Definitely a tougher boss. Help me. Help you. Steam tank saved me, actually. He wanted to focus the steam tank. I don't know whether to just kill this thing or not, and then let it. But it's like 160 seconds, so it's over two minutes. I can still get some damage out of him. I can just heal a bit. So unlucky. Okay. More strength, methinks. Gear. The mechanical heart of an animated meat wagon surrounds the hero with an electrical field, dealing 100 damage to nearby units every right. three seconds. That sounds useful. Probably more useful than this at the moment. Okay, so that's right. one down. Who's next? Dragon. So 
There's the one over there. I think that's the Wraiths. Give me something to do. Uh, you went to nearest graveyard and just wiped yourself off. Brilliant. If I go up. I'm coming through. Brilliant. I'll run up through. Turn him away. I could always just TP up to the Nerubian area and then walk over there, actually. It's no biggie. If I, I still haven't got used to this yet, so... How am I going to fight the ghost? I'll find out in a moment. I don't think any of this really interests me. I do hate healing. If I could, like, have... I suppose you could probably stack healing potions, but I just hate... I guess I kind of, like... I would be more okay with healing potions and such if they took up a separate inventory for just... Say, for example, you had, like, one, two, three, four or something. Four tabs for healing potions and stuff like that. You could stack them, like health, mana, invis potion, involve potion, that kind of thing. I just... I know it's probably annoyed some people when I just don't go for the healing potions and that. Because I just hate it. I always am that way in any RPG or whatever I play. I hate... Consumables. I will go through an entire RPG and not use a single consumable. Because I just hate it. I could use them. I just don't want to. Yeah, they feel worse than not permanent. How much do you play the game? How often do you get sick of it? Sick of it every single day. Right, Chichel. Am I going the right way? Never be too, quite sure. These guys haven't healed up much, have they? Oof. Well, I kind of. I can send them to the base here, and if they make it, they make it. Yeah, this is the way. Look, he's going all this way around to get to those wraiths. Illidan is out there somewhere. So I've got this set to the nearest graveyard, but that should be this one. Brilliant. Turn him away. I'm coming through. Moving. Brilliant. This better be good. Turn him away. I'm coming through. Brilliant. I'm coming through. Moving. Turn him away. I'm coming through. Moving. Turn him away. Where she is. See so the stampede can take him out. He hits hard. She hits very hard. Help me. Help you. I thought the sorceress might get slow there. Bit of a shame. Damn shame. They always get the first hit on me, no matter how careful I go. Dealt with. 
That's alright. Waste your hits on the rifleman. That's fine with me. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Grants 80% chance to evade attacks. That's pretty damn good. Deals up to 6 times int damage and reduces the attack damage of nearby non-mechanical units by 20% for 10 seconds. That's pretty pretty damn good for like an int caster. Banshee screen. Right. I'll just take the stone form. Turtle? Or the bottom area here, probably. Because that's something I could definitely do. Let's kill this tank now. Poor little bugger. Yeah, I think it's go down, wipe out the Tuskers. There's no quest for it, as far as I know, but... It might be if you go to one of the bases, a new quest might have popped up, but I haven't been to there in a while. If there was going to be a quest for it, it would be basically the dwarf, so I would think. I would give the quest. I'll change the graveyard to the Dunnor. Fishing net that I never used, and never will use. If you spot an exclamation mark, let me know. You can buy for reputation. What? I think I have like 10 reputation with these guys there. They like me a lot. Uh, there's nothing I really need to buy here. Um, this item's obviously got to go at some point, but I may as well keep it until I get my max level. Because that's the main thing. Can I beat Grubby? No. Well... If I'm lucky, yes. He's far superior than I am. I have beaten him before. But it's not like it's like, oh, I beat him because I'm better. It's just I obviously just got luckier. The game just went better for me. I think I'll go this way, actually. You can beat him, you're better. I'm not better. <laughs> not even close to as good as Grubby is. There's a huge disparity. It may not necessarily always seem like it, but there is. There's like, between like, I'm like 1700 really when it comes to melee. I don't even play one versus one. I've played one versus one in ages, but I guess my base level of one versus one is around 1600 to 1700 without like practicing. And I never did practice. I always just played whenever I wanted to play. Oh no, my ship. Leave him alone. The grubby's like way higher. I mean, it's not really humility. It's just whack fact. I don't, I don't ever feel like I'm being like humble or anything like that. Oh, yeah, this guy's for like the stacking up the strength thing, but we don't really do that. We don't do that round here. Not the strength of defense. I just feel like I just, I don't know, I just talk honestly, or at least I feel like I do. And that is what it is. Whether you agree or disagree. This unprocessed iron plate is crafted from a golem's hammer-tite, or up to one item of type shield. Probably a recipe item or something, but do we care? This is the thing, like, it's quite tricky to build an item, because... There's a tank, that's nice. I mean, this is a great item. This is a great item. Or it's at least good enough, because it can give me movement speed and attack speed, so control. This item, uh, you can get rid of that. This item's nice because of the entangle, but it's not that necessary. So two items could go, potentially. This item, obviously, we keep. And this item gets replaced. So there's like three items I could replace, but I have no idea what they're going to be, because some recipes I can't even build. Like, I want to build them, but there's some other item I need or something. It does kind of tell you, but it might take too long to try to get it. 